is going on guys, Nick here back with another tutorial for DaVinci Resolve and today we're going to take a look at how to track text to anything inside of DaVinci Resolve. So any bit of footage that you have, we're going to learn how to quickly and easily track that to an object. I realized looking back on the channel that I haven't actually done a tutorial like this. So let's do it. So what we're going to do, let's delete that and start from scratch. So we're going to drag our footage in. Obviously whatever your footage is will be a bit different. And for argument's sake, I'm just going to trim this down so that we don't have as much footage to work with. And we'll just bring it forward a little bit, trim that down. And for this sake, I don't need the audio, so I'm just going to delete that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the footage with my playhead and then jump into Fusion. And then that's going to bring the clip into Fusion. I'm just going to close some things down, make a bit of space. All right, so here we have the fusion layout with the footage. First things first, I like to keep everything nice and organized. So I'm gonna rename my media in node. So we can select that, right click and go rename, or you can see you can do function F2. And I'm just gonna call that traffic clip. And that's just so you can keep track of things in larger fusion compositions. Good habit to get into. All right, so when tracking an object, you wanna look for quite a few different things Contrast being the main one. So you want to look for points of movement if you're tracking a moving object with a lot of contrast. So we're going to look through this clip. Obviously, we've got a lot of cars. We've got some black ones there. I like the look of these ones here because they've got a really nice dark sunroof on a white car that's moving cleanly through the clip. And we're going to do that. So what we're going to do is move to the start of this clip. And then in your node section, select your media clip. And then I want you to hit shift space on your keyboard. It's going to bring up your tool selector. And then in here, we're gonna type tracker. And you can see we've got three different options. So we've got a camera tracker that's designed for 3D movement. We've got a planar tracker, which we could use in this instance, but we're not going to. We're going to use the bottom one, which is a single point tracker. So we're gonna add that to the node tree. And there you go, we have our tracker. Now with the tracker selected, if we head on over to the right hand side under the inspector. Now, if you don't have that open, can just be controlled by clicking this button here. Yours also might look a bit different by dropping it down, but here we go. We've got the tracker over here. Instantly, it's added this tracker to our scene as listed here, tracker one. And if we hover over, it's quite hard to see here, but you can see we've got two squares. We've got this hard green line square and then a dotted green line square out there. Basically, everything in this solid square, that's what we're going to track. And then everything inside the dotted square is what it's going to look for. So with the playhead at the start of the clip, we're gonna grab this little corner here. You can see it kind of highlights when you grab it and we're gonna grab it and move it over that car here. So this one here, all right? And we're gonna just move the clip over. And now what we can actually do is resize these squares in the viewer. So if you don't click, so this one will control the movement of that square. Every other corner, all right, if you click them, controls the size. So we're gonna just sort of make that box over the car and if you look in your inspector, we actually get a black and white representation of what that point is. So we're gonna just hover over it until we get a nice good representation. Now, the bigger the dotted square is, the longer it's going to take to track because it's going to be searching a larger area for the object. In this particular scene, there is a car right behind it that looks identical. And so having a large box is probably not gonna be a good thing because the track might jump around, think that that's the right thing. So what we're gonna do is actually gonna make this box pretty small. And this is gonna depend on whether or not your point has enough contrast and all that sort of stuff. Here we've got a very defined object that we're tracking, so we don't need a large area for it to search for. Awesome. Once you've done that, over in your inspector, pretty much we're gonna use the default settings and all we're gonna do is hit this one here, which is track forward from current time. So click that and let DaVinci Resolve do its thing. You see here it's tracking the cars, working pretty quick, your computer may vary. Perfect, done. And as we see here, we can scrub through. We got a really nice clean track on that car. All right, so now that we have that object tracked, we just need to tell the tracker what we're doing. So currently all we have is tracking data, but it's not doing anything, right? It's not telling Fusion, this is what this data is for. So what we're gonna do in the inspector is we're gonna head on over to the next tab. So we have the tracking tab and then we've got the operation tab. The operation tab is gonna tell the tracker what to be used for basically. You know, currently it's used for nothing. So if we hit that drop down, we've got match move, corner positioning, and perspective positioning. We want to do match moves. And basically this operation controls whatever gets plugged into this tracker. So 
what we're gonna do is do match move. So what we want is whatever we plug into that tracker is going to match the movement, right, of the tracking data. So we do, do that, perfect. And we've got a few extra options here. So we've got the merge, so foreground over background. So the background is going to be the traffic clip as it's plugged into here, which is the input or the background. And that's how we pretty much want this set up. We can also do different screen modes and applying and all that sort of stuff. Default should work perfectly fine. Next thing we're gonna do is wanna add text to the scene. So we can just do that by dragging a text node down like so or we can hit shift space and type in text. There's a few different options. I'm gonna chuck the text node in, drag the output of that to the green arrow on the tracker, and now we're gonna type. So we can just type in traffic, cause there's some bad traffic, and you can fiddle around with whatever you want. You can change the color, it's not super important. Do whatever you want to do in this. We can move it around in the scene all right, so let's line it up with that car, which is just over here. And if we play this scene through straight away, it's already tracked to the car. Now, because whatever's tracked, whatever's plugged into the foreground of the tracker is matching the movement of the tracking information, we can still move this around. It's gonna match the movement of that, you know, of the car. So it doesn't matter where we have it, we can have it anywhere in the scene we want, and it's going to match the movement, which is really, really, really cool. Now the best cool thing about this is we can actually delete that text node. Say we wanted to bring in an image. So if I open this up, I've got my DaVinci Resolve logo. All right, and I can plug that into the foreground. And if I wanted to move that, what we'll do is gonna, I'm gonna add a quick transform node just to move it up here. And now if I press play, you can see I've got my DaVinci Resolve logo tracking to that object. So anything plugged into the tracker is going to match the movement. And, and that is the simplest way to track text to an object inside of DaVinci Resolve. Really simple. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more content. We're gonna try and do a few more easy tutorials, a few hard ones, see how we go. And yeah, until the next one guys, see ya.